Unveiling the Mystery of Bay Ferry, A Journey in English. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English learning series. Today, we're going to explore a fascinating phrase that you might come across in travel or geography contexts, Bay Ferry. Understanding such phrases not only enriches your vocabulary but also gives you insights into cultural and geographical aspects of English-speaking regions. So, let's dive in and unravel the meaning behind Bay Ferry. To grasp the meaning of Bay Ferry, let's first look at the two words separately. Bay. This word refers to a body of water, usually smaller than a sea, that is partially surrounded by land. Bays are often calm and used as safe harbors by ships. Ferry. A ferry is a type of boat or ship used to carry passengers, and sometimes vehicles, across a body of water, usually over relatively short distances. Understanding these definitions is crucial to appreciating the combined meaning of the phrase. Now that we understand what bay and ferry mean separately, let's combine them. Bay Ferry a bay ferry is a ferry that operates over a bay, transporting people and sometimes vehicles from one shore to another. These are common in places where cities or towns are separated by bay waters, making them an essential part of local transportation. Bay ferries are often used not just for practical transportation but can also be a part of tourist experiences, offering scenic views of the coastline and the bay. Let's look at some examples to see how Bay Ferry is used in sentences. 1. We took the Bay Ferry to cross the San Francisco Bay, and the view of the Golden Gate Bridge was breathtaking. 2. The quickest way to get to the island is by the Bay Ferry, which runs every hour. 3. Tourists often enjoy the scenic ride on the Bay Ferry, as it offers a unique view of the city skyline. These examples show how Bay Ferry is used in everyday conversation, especially related to travel and geography. I hope this video has helped you understand what a Bay Ferry is and how you can use this phrase in your English conversations, especially when discussing travel or geographic locations. Remember, Learning such phrases not only helps in language proficiency but also in understanding the culture and geography of English-speaking regions. Keep practicing, and see you in our next video.